what is good you guys welcome back to the channel and i hope all of you all are well so this is the fourth video in the python logging series where we are going to look at filters how to integrate filters in the uh, uh, configuration yaml which we saw last uh, in the last video and we're going to finish with logger adapters which will help us add custom information or some more contextual information to the log record at uh, log record so basically uh, we've seen that that uh, we've seen all the attributes which are available for the log record but if you need to pass some custom arguments or some custom messages uh, that is something which is also possible at uh, the very beginning of this tutorial series i explained that the logging module is cons uh, the python logging module consists of four essential components the loggers handlers filters and the formatters so in the previous videos we have talked about three that is loggers handlers and the formatters in this one we are going to talk about filters and as you might have guessed from the name they provide um, they provide a way to filter logs based on certain criteria so uh, without any delay let's get started with the examples to so let us start with the most big basic example of how to implement a logger uh, the first two lines are pretty standard we initialize a logger and on the initialize logger we call the add filter method now that to the add filter method is uh, passed a filter this class where the logic of the filtering resides now what is what is at the core of the uh, filter uh, python filtering is this logging dot filter class which is provided and in that as well there is a specific method called as the filter so the job of this method is to take in the log record attribute by log record attribute is the entire thing which is displayed uh, uh, as a result of this logging dot info and work on its uh, attributes so message is one example uh, message is one attribute so message is just uh, this attribute which is available to the log, log record and you can perform actions on that not only on the message but you can perform on the log levels function names and uh, whatever uh, we'll look at all the attributes which are available in one minute but currently uh, or in this example what we're doing is uh, this filter method will return true only if the word secret is present in it if the words uh, sorry uh, yeah if the secret word is not present in it so if there's any log record uh, any log where the message doesn't contain the secret this method will return true and only if the method returns true then that lo log record would be displayed so that is the job of this filter or this is how the filter is uh, implemented so this is a simple example a good way to get started with filters and let me quickly run this code to see uh, this all live in action so if you see this will be displayed uh, as the message suggests because it doesn't contain uh, the word secret so if it doesn't contain the word secret secret not in record message would become true this will return true and once this returns true uh, that log record would be passed to the handler similarly for the error as well and as opposed to this message what has happened is this contains the word secret and so it was filtered out if we just if we now uh, just remove it and let me run it again so what will happen is this will also be displayed so that is a brief introduction of how loggers work just to demo what this record contains as attributes or what all you can filter this on what i'm going to do is i've set a breakpoint here and i'm going to try and debug this code so uh run the debugger and yeah if i have my mouse pointer over here you can see all the attributes such as message module line number all these filters uh, which you can actually uh, use in your filtering so i've just used record dot message <coughs> Uh, I've just used record dot message, but there are other attributes as well which you can use to filter. So I just wanted to quickly demo that, so uh, it's much more clearer as to what is happening in this line. So the example which we saw before was okay, uh, just for demo purposes. But if uh, we are talking about this tutorial is about more uh, advanced features or how you could um, use all of this code which I teach you in production grade applications. So we're now going to look at passing on these filters or segregating these filters in a separate class file. We'll look at some more filters than just based on the record message and how you can move the filters to uh, the uh, config.yaml. So uh, about this config.yaml and storing these logging configurations if you're not aware of this uh, i have done the a tutorial for that or i've done a video for that and that is the third part of the logging series so before you jump to this or if uh, some of these lines don't make sense i strongly advise you to look or watch the uh, logging part three uh, the logging tutorial part three first and then come back to this but i'm just going to quickly recap what i'm doing here so what i've done is you know, uh, i've stored all the configuration in the config.yaml so basically uh this one so whatever i was doing here uh, the formats and all so what i've done is 
I've stored it in a config.yaml and I've read that YAML using the uh, YAML module, converted it to a dictionary and using the uh, dict config method which is available as part of the standard logging package, uh, logging module, I've just read it and so that will help me initialize the whole logging configuration and what this does is again if you missed the previous video uh, it allows us to segregate or centralize all the uh, logging config uh, configuration and separate uh, you can just reuse it everywhere so and that is the whole point of having a storing the logging in a configuration file okay so we've done that here and but that is not our main uh, objective our objective is to look at filters so in the previous one what we did was we just used the filters in the same code um, I just wrote the filter here but what I've now done is I've moved the filter to a separate uh, 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 I've moved the filter to its own Python file basically and I've written three types of filters now the first one is the same as the uh, the same as the one before so it filters based on the record message the second one is uh, uh, different and what I've done here is it filters based on uh, the logging level and the third one uh, is a more advanced example and so what it does is it instead of filtering out the records what it simply does is if the log record or the message contains a se uh, the word uh, the keyword sensitive then just replace it with uh, star stars basically uh, the use case of this is masking data if you have passwords if you have phone numbers or any other personal identification data in the logs instead of displaying to the file or displaying to the console what you can do is just uh, mask that data so that is the use case of this so uh, this is well and good so far we uh, what we have the uh, filter separated in a, a nice class but how do you integrate it with the uh, integrate it with the yaml or the other uh, other modules so uh, just to recap again what we did here is we initialize this filter and you use the add filter method to supply the filter to the logger but what we'll be doing here is we'll initialize the filters in the yaml and what uh, what we have done here is given a name to each and every one of these filters and we have used this special uh, uh, the special naming convention i think uh, as you might call it and it is used for user defined objects so user defined uh, filters here are user defined objects for us that, uh, user defined objects that is uh, we have defined them on our own and to you know uh, specify such uh, user defined objects the convention which the uh, python logging documentation says is we have to use this so uh, i've used that and then uh, the name is just based on this file which is available here so filters dot filter based message uh, filter based on message filter based on log level and replace sensitive information so that is what i've done and the filter is then passed to the uh, handlers so we are passing all three of them and uh, going back to the code uh, uh, as part of this standard configuration all this would be initialized and uh, i do now have uh, three examples uh, not here but let me just close this one to avoid any confusion i have this first one and so this says that uh, th this is the info type of log and since it contains the word secret it will be filtered out this log will be displayed this will be filtered out based on the second condition that is the logging level is debug and just to be clear so i i am allowing debug here so that that will pass but it will be filtered because of the condition which we have added and this contains the word sensitive so uh, the word sensitive would be replaced by this mask essentially so let me uh, minimize this one as well and let me run the python code so actually uh, let me clear this one as well uh, not clr but clear or is it cls yep that's it and let me run the python code now so if you see uh, the first log which contains the word secret is uh, obviously filtered out the second one is displayed as the name shows this will also be filtered out because the logging level is debug and the third one uh, division uh, the third one uh, uh, which uh, sorry uh, not the third one but yeah i think the third one uh, the word sensitive is replaced by uh, the star 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 keyword which we uh, gave it the mask which we gave it and the error, error type i think we have not done anything to the error type so that is available uh, or that is uh, uh, displayed on the console so this is how you uh, initialize filters in a config.yaml you basically write a filters.py for it and in the filters.py uh, you can uh, have a filters a placeholder in the yaml file and just you can give it the names and the names are then passed on to the uh, handlers the keyword only here is this uh, double quotes i think which is used for specifying user defined objectives and there's nice documentation for that available as well 
another thing uh, worth keeping in mind uh, the naming convention here has to uh, you know match the filters so if i just do something like uh, filters one and because there's no uh, there's no filters one so that will cause a problem right uh, the next thing which we're going to talk about in this tutorial is passing some contextual information so what i mean by contextual information is uh, your logs uh, don't always have to uh, use the same parameters or the same attributes which the framework uh, the logging module gives you such as message uh, time level name function name and all that suppose that you have a requirement that you need to append a certain uh, suppose you're working on a networking application and you need to uh, you know always have a certain ip populated in your log say of the host machine or something like that so that is like a custom argument or you, you can actually hard code that or uh, in each and every one of the logs or what you can do is uh, if you have thousands of logs what you can do is you can use something called as logger adapter so uh, the logger adapter class what it does is it takes in the logger as input and it also uh, to it you can also supply a dictionary and the dictionary should contain uh, the new uh, what do you say attribute uh, which you want to post uh, which we want to pass to the log record not pass but uh, pass to the log record and the default uh, or the default say in this case I've passed a default message and if we consider our requirement which we talked about say if you wanted to pass a host IP or a connection ID or anything which needs to be show up in each and every each and every log you can just add that so the way to do this is uh, using the logger adapter the logger adapter is available in the base uh, logging module only so you just have to import it from I need to get a habit of closing this so from logging import logger adapter to the logger adapter you just pass the initialized logger and the custom argument as a dictionary or the custom parameter which you passed so this again has to match the name and if you uh, so if you just uh, uh, mess up the names so that will cause a problem so now I'm going to run this and run Python file and if you see uh, each and every one of the uh, each one of each and every one of these logs one and two has that custom argument or the you know custom message displayed so that is how you can some add, uh, you can send some additional or contextual information we have not come to the end of this tutorial but uh, the last concept in this and that is going to be about adding custom uh, messages but dynamic ones in this example we saw that the logger adapter can help us add some uh, static information which is hard coded so but hard coding uh, rarely works uh, you will always have a need for passing uh, you know you know different different arguments or different different messages at runtime say uh, for example we took the uh, we took an example of the network where you want to uh, uh, where you want to set IPs uh, in each and, every, each and every one of the log but uh, consider that the IP was dynamic or it was changing then what would you do uh, you couldn't just hard code one IP or you know uh, so in that case what you can do is just use this logger adapter but a more advanced concept so now we're going to look at that uh, what we've done here is we have uh, used the logger adapter as the base class and created a custom adapter and the custom adapter overrides the process method which is available and what it does is the process method then takes in all these arguments so basically uh, the custom argument which is available and appends it to the message so the rec uh, log record message so that is the whole gist of it here we didn't override the uh, process method and hence uh, only uh, so we've overridden the logger adapters process method and the custom argument is then appended to each and every one of the log message and rest of the logic remains same uh, the custom adapters initialized here we have uh, we have given it default value of none and each and every uh, and in each each and every one of these logs uh, we can just append a custom message to this so we're trying to divide by zero so what i've done is just uh, full marks for being some extra uh, doing something extra stupid and never divide by zero so let me try and run this code so if you see uh, the full marks for being extra stupid and never divide by zero are displayed as uh, what do you say uh, are displayed as the uh, extra arguments and now why they're displayed at the uh, displayed as the you know in square brackets because we have formatted the message that way we have passed a custom argument and then a message so you can just change this here uh, here but if I just want to change this you can do that as well uh, let's pick it a bit more tidy uh, let me save it and let me just run this and this should be okay so this is how the display comes we're basically uh, you know reformatting the message and passing in a custom argument so that is how you can assign dynamic values so uh, let me just actually create one more log to show it to uh, show to you that uh, we if i don't pass anything what will happen so i'll not pass any custom argument and what i'll do is i'll change this meaning to something uh, from none to something default and let me try to run this now 
So if you see something default would be passed on. So and uh, none didn't make much more sense. And none didn't make sense. So just replaced with this uh, default message. And if you don't supply anything, a default would always be available. So that is the use of uh, the logger adapter and how you can override the process method to add a custom information, which is dynamic of the nature. If you don't override the process method, you can still pass in a default message and both have their own use cases. So as I mentioned, a, a great example would be suppose you're working on an application which deals with network passing. A uh, so if your server or a host has the static IP, you can just hard code it. Uh, but if your uh, host has dynamic IPs or you're reading from somewhere else, then uh, you can just uh, you know, override the process method and in each and every one of the log, you can choose to pass on whatever IP or whatever IP is available. So that is how you can just pass in additional information or static or dynamic to log file. So uh, that brings us to the end of the fourth part of the Python logging series. And we have seen pretty, uh, three pretty important concepts, uh, filtering, uh, basic filtering, and how you can uh, you know, write, uh, write separate classes for filtering uh, based on the messages, based on the levels, or just uh, masking uh, sensitive data from the log record attributes. We've also seen you know uh, adding contextual information, both static and dynamic, which also is important based on the application. So this was a rather important video. I think uh, that probably brings us to the end of the whole Python logging series. I'm not sure if the fifth part will come or not, but you know, stay tuned for that. A few moments later. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. Also leave a like, share, comment uh, for the algorithm. It will help me immensely. It will keep me motivated. And uh, thank you for watching.